Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. A few days ago, I welcomed into the world a litter of boas. It was very highly anticipated of a type of boa I haven't produced in quite a while. And that, of course, is the Argentine boa like this one. This is actually the father of the litter. Today, I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek at the baby boas. I'm going to say a little bit about the litter. We'll take up the close-up lens and get some close-ups of the babies so you can get up and close, up close and personal with this these recently born baby Argentine boas. As you may know if you've been following the channel, Argentine boas were the first type of boa I bred in captivity about 20 years ago, and they've always had a special place in my heart. And so I had an original pair of Argentine boas that produced several litters, and the last of these litters was back in 2015. I held back a few of those animals, including the mother of the current litter that I just had. Unfortunately, I lost my original pair a few years later and I had some female holdbacks. I didn't have a male, so I was trying to find a male. This is, you know, five, six years ago. At the time, it was really hard to find them. The prices were actually just starting to go up. They hadn't kind of gone up completely to where they are now, but they were getting more and more popular. And finally, I got this guy. This is a Max Pink Bloodline male. This is a 2018 born male and I'd been growing this guy up and so actually he was ready to pair last year and I first paired him up last year unfortunately it didn't work out for whatever reason but I paired him up again this year with one of my 2015 holdback females and uh, luckily we had a successful litter and so I'm going to show you the babies in a minute but I thought I'd show you the male the father here you can see this guy's max pink he's got these Kind of not really pink they're kind of more magenta purplish pink blotches in between his saddles and baby argentine boas will typically have these pink blotches but they usually will go away and fade uh you know to the normal black and white or brown color by about a year of age but these max pink, max pink bloodline animals retained the pink color for a little bit longer or actually a lot longer into their adulthood like this guy uh, his mother's not a Max Pink. His mother has more of a tr typical black and white appearance for an Argentine boa. His mother's actually recovering. I don't want to film her today because she lost quite a bit of weight for the litter and fed her a couple days ago, so she's digesting that rodent. I just want to allow her to recover uh, from the litter. But she did great and uh, produced a beautiful litter of 11 babies. Uh, there was one stillborn and a couple slugs. But overall, really nice litter that I'll show you in a minute. And you know, with that in mind, I'm gonna take out my close-up lens and we'll go take a quick look at the baby Argentine boas. Here's the litter of Argentine boas born just the other day. Got uh, 11 nice, healthy babies. There were also just one stillborn, unfortunately, or fortunately, I should say and a couple slugs but overall real nice healthy litter you can see these guys are moving around quite a bit there's a close-up you can see some of them still have the umbilical cord attached in the bottom right there and they're looking a little dull right now they'll have a uh, better collar and pattern once uh, they shed you can see the pink blotches are a little bit subdued. They Hopefully the pink will come out a little better once they shed. And it's normal for the Argentine boas to have the pink as babies uh, with the Max Pink bloodline. They will actually retain the pink into adulthood, at least to some degree. I'm keeping them in a relatively simple setup, just a uh, 56 quart Sterilite tub paper towel substrate just on a simple heat mat set to maintain about 90, 90 degrees Fahrenheit over about uh, a third of the cage, a third to a half of the cage. And then you can see just a water dish right there to increase the humidity. And they do soak a little bit, uh, which helps them shed. But they'll stay in this simple setup for about uh, a week and a half or so until they've shed, at which point They'll go to their separate tubs. 
for scale there's a picture there's my hand right there holding one of them but they're pretty decent size babies I'd say about 20 21 inches or so not quite as big as my Peruvian red tails but definitely on the larger side for a baby boa there you can see the heat mat through the side of the tub they're not in direct contact with that of course there's uh, the plastic tub side but they basically are just kind of lined together in this big pile it's safety in numbers and they'll just kind of lie here stay warm until they're ready to shed and these guys are real mellow no hissing no striking nothing like that interestingly the Argentines have a reputation for being kind of hissy especially as babies but these guys are just super laid back I've seen that especially with some of my island boas and dwarf boas like the Tarhimara and Kral Key the babies are often kind of hissy and strikey but these Argentines haven't shown that kind of type of behavior and I'm just super happy to have these baby Argentines on the ground as I mentioned in the beginning it's been quite a while since I've had Argentines and they have a special place in my heart so I'd have to say this is my uh, probably my favorite litter so far this year I usually you know don't like to pick favorites but I've just been anticipating Argentine babies for so long and it kind of eluded me for a while so it's great to have these baby Argentines on the ground look forward to watching them shed and probably hold back a few for myself to grow up as future breeders so look forward to watching these baby Argentines grow in the years ahead at least those that I select to hold back and we'll leave these guys with just a little bit more close-up footage it's about as close as I can get with my camera that I'm using now So those were the recently born baby Argentine boas. They actually, I forgot to mention, they were born kind of late at night. You know, as you've been, if you've been following the channel, you know I often film these videos of me taking the babies out of the enclosure. But I, you know, I came home after a really uh, long day at work, just wanted to relax, relaxed a bit, but went to check on the snakes before I went to bed. It was around. 10 o'clock and she was actually giving birth at that uh, time so you know the snakes will give birth when they're ready to give birth it's rarely on your schedule and you know you need to be ready to take care of the babies once they're born so she gave birth pretty quickly she was done within about an hour you know gave her a little bit of time just to make sure they were you know she was done uh, having the babies thought about filming it but she was getting kind of aggressive she was striking at the front of the cage so I didn't want to you know have to put her under any more stress especially this was already late at night and I was really tired so basically I just took her out I soaked her I cleaned up the cage got the babies cleaned up a bit um, and uh, she's doing great now um, but yeah that was my baby Argentine boa litter I didn't end up filming it um, but hopefully you guys got a pretty good look at the babies. I know that some of you guys are probably interested in these baby Argentine boas and I will have some available for sale. Uh, I probably will hold back a few for myself. I can't say exactly when. I imagine they'll probably be ready to go in about a month and a half to two months or so. So probably sometime around uh, late August, early September-ish. And when they're ready to go, I'll put them up on my Flickr page. And I'll probably do an update video just so you guys can see how they're doing and when they're going to be ready for their new homes. But overall, great Argentine litter. Happy to have some again after it's been eight years since my last litter. So that's always uh, feels good. 
and I look forward to getting these babies feeding and established and ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, shoot me any questions or comments you may have. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.